Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We're ready for MLB The Show's Game of the Week. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Miami Marlins. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. So the Miami Marlins have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill today, Jesus Lazar. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of the game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Whit Merrifield in the box now. No balls and a strike. First pick, 140. That misses the zone, and it's one, one and one. One strike. Just two. missed. Two one. Right through there for a strike. Two two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Just okay. off the outside edge. Full count now. This one smacked out to left center. Chisholm makes the grab on the run. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Getting guys across the plate, not exactly a forte for them this year, as their offense is in the bottom third of the league in run score. Boogie becomes extremely frustrating, and then what happens is guys press, especially in run scoring opportunities and situations. And on top of that, I mean, you really make it harder on your pitcher. He feels no. like he's got to be perfect to go oh, out no. there and win a ball game, or at least to put the team in a position to win a ball game. So they've got to figure out a way to relax, get those runners across when they have them on, and especially when they're in scoring position. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. The pitch. Ball two. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That's oh, a little bit low. Three and two. Payoff pitch. And yeah, they'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Oh, that one, 95 to finish him off. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. He just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Turner now. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two out spaces empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Down quickly go the Phillies. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back 
here in Lone Depot Park. Today's starting pitcher, Zach Wheeler. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. We go to the bottom of the first. And at the play for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The wind of the pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball. One strike. And that's through there for a strike. Next offering upstairs. Pretty standard one ball. high O2 two fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. No one chase. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. And time now for the Marlins lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm of the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him Ball moving one. off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Lifted in the air, out to left, under it. Makes the grab, two down. Batting third. The second base. Louis. Two outs, base is empty. Oh, Luis oh, yeah. Arise stands in. So we'll see what the former batting champ can do here, Chris. First Outside. pitch misses. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Outside. Guys ball like two. this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. And a pitch. You ah. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. And Three another more. ball. And it's fouled away. Righty delivers. Oh. And it's a three up, three down inning. End of one. And we're still scoreless. Back here in Miami, new inning getting started. And digging in for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. The wind of the pitch. Ball. And ball one. Rojas. One ball. 23 no years old. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Rivera. One out in the second. That is it. The third base. Alec Bohm. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. And yeah. there's the strike. Ground ball right side. Arise on to first. And a couple of quick outs. The first base is number three. Bryce Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the veteran first baseman, Bryce Harper.
misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Oh one. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Breaking ball through there for a strike. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and it clearly shows there was a game plan. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the Phillies are set down in order. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jake Berger. Wheeler back to work. Right through there for a strike. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Harper drifts towards it. And that's a foul ball. That one in the dirt. Ball one. One, two. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Ball and two. another ball. Two, two. Two two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. The two two. Bounce to the right. Harper steps on first for the out. Batting good. Good. No left. No left. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Second inning here, no score. Swinging. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just punched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. The one. No, too low. And That's another ball. ball. Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some that's really that's close that's pitches. That's and that's 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 somehow, Boogie, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Here's Josh Bell. Right through there for a strike. Sanchez leads off first with two down to the inning. Wheeler 
Taylor with a throw over. Sanchez back in on a dive. Two outs. Swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slide regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Just missed. It's a good take. One ball. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. And he deals. And it skips in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Right hander kicks deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. strikes he didn't make it easy for him on the mound but they still get the strikeout Marlins leave one will move to the third with no score back here in low Depot Park top half of the third inning here's Nicholas Castellanos Lazardo back to work and the first pitch misses for ball one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. A wide to kick the pitch. No. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. This is Bryson Stott. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Ball one. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Chisholm on the move. He's got it. That's out number two. JT Real Muto steps in. Real Muto made his debut with the Florida Marlins all the way back in 2014. Had a pair of singles and three RBIs in the game. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Top of the third, no score. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Yeah. 
So the lineup flips over with Merrifield up to the plate. Fastball in the corner at the knees, and it's a strike. The pitch. Real Muto oh. runs. There's the ball. Throw. Oh. Save. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Well, they gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. That two, misses two. the zone. Two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Man on second, two down. In the air, right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And we're back. Here's the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. With the right hitter back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. One strike right there. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Righty to the plate. And oh. now one and two. One, two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. New pitcher now, Christopher Sanchez. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And a pitch. Him looking for the K. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough Not battle, enough. man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Christian Bethencourt, the next up for the Marlins. And a good eye there. One down, base is empty. Hit hard on the ground is short. Turner with the throw to first. Two up, two down. Now Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. He's 0 for 1.
In the air to left center. Rojas flashes the leather on the run and catch. Onto the fourth, still scores. here in Miami all set for the start of the inning here's the center fielder Brandon Marsh this kid picked up in a trade a lot was offered and given to get him but he's got a real high ceiling there's a swing and a drive that one's carrying pulls it in on the warning track he was all over that first pitch fastball but just barely missed it man this guy was ready to hit Trey Turner now struck out swinging his first time. High fly ball out of the left center field. Moving under it. Snags it for the second out. The bat. The left field. Johan Rojas stands Rojas. in for the Phillies. Lined into right. Gets down. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Up next for Philadelphia. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Alec Bohm digs in now. Grounded out his first time. Step off, throw to first. And he's out. And they got him. That ends the inning. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nick Gordon. And the pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Oh, you know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of one pitches more. outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Line and a base hit into right. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost no, expect no, 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 to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for him. Rudder takes off. Ground ball to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. And now, Jake Berger. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Next one misses. One and one. One, one out and a runner at second. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. At the belt and finals. That Me one too. way inside. The other way, Harper. And he takes it himself for the out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And the batter now, Brian De La Cruz. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. The Marlins looking to strike first. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. 
And he's down on strikes. Huge strikeout there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. So digging in, Alec Bull. The third base. Alec Bull. pitch wouldn't Whoa. chase that time well these Phillies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game they've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game ah. and it's led to some frustrating moments they've been fooled quite a bit today here comes a pitch no, just off outside. the outside edge and it's two and one And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Go ahead, run on base. Bryce Harper to the play. Struck out swinging his first time. Harper in his 13th season a member of the 1000 hit club and he's a former rookie of the year fought off foul nobody out runner at first that Woo! one finds the corner and the count is 0-2 and a little frustrated with the strike zone Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Boat gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just yeah, become yeah. such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing no. in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. The 1 2. Oh. And another ball. Two ball. Boom. Two the base shot. runner at first with one out. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to Gordon. There's one. And that's two. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. And we still have no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. The wind and the pitch. No. And that one off the outside edge. Activity in the bullpen. Colby Allard, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. The pitch. Ball. And there's a ball. Now one Leo. missed. It's a leadoff walk. And that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggling to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And up next for Miami, Josh Bell. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right through there for a strike.
Now the one. There's a strike. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Good job to fight that one off. Runner at first with no outs here. Oh, and that great. just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Bounce to the right side, to second for one, and it's over his head. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing. Well, that right there is a pretty clear cool example of why making a clean, on-target throw back into the infield is so critical, but so many times it's easily overlooked. Can't be careless about it as an outfielder. Doesn't matter if you're throwing to a base or a cutoff. You have to give them something that they can handle. That cost him a run as a result. That's Rivera batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And here it comes. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball. Two strikes. The next offering misses. Now one, one ball, and two. two no outs. Runner on second. Wouldn't two chase two. that time. Second. Full count. Ground ball left side. And that's the first out, out in the bottom of the fifth. Now got it. This Here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. He's over one. ball in there for a strike. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. March pulls it in on the run. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. One run across in the frame so far here in the third and final game of the series. And that one sliced foul. Oh, and two now. One, two. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Left hand batter waits. Ball two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Got it by him for the K. So a couple of errors lead to a run. We're through five. It's the Marlins one, and the Phillies nothing. the sixth inning. Now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. As the lefty gets to work, that one hooked foul. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one, one not close. 
And now it's even one and one. On the ground. That's and that's just foul. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now we go up the ladder for the K. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. Well, and that's two. outside, and it's 2-0. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Chisholm makes the play, and there's two away. Now battle. Here's the Phillies' DH, Whit Merrifield. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. And misses inside. On the ground, right side. To first, that's the third out. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. Shortstop, Nick Gordon. Sanchez, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. arrives pitch misses there and that is ball one Gordon gets his lead at first with nobody out no, inside just missed he's been raking in recent games and a big reason why getting ahead in counts he's been able to do that consistently and you see the results the pitch and a foul ball makes the count two and one and he deals slam and a base hit Gordon around second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Well, they call that an now advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and lift it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one sliced foul. Runners at the corners, nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. That's and that's outside. One ball, one strike. Next pitch is outside. Oh, and another ball 
Good slider down okay. and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And he walked him. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Brian De La Cruz getting ready to hit. De La Cruz swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. Ground ball right side could be two. Stop to second, and a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play's kind of a rally killer. Jesus Sanchez will hit next. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Still 0 and 2. The pitch. And one, that's two. in the dirt. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Great job of New laying ball. off those Good pitches try. down in the zone that even the count off at 2 and 2. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Left hand hitter waits. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it one hops the wall. In to score is the runner from third. And they lead by three. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Nice line drive with the full side. Made it out front, but just stayed here nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Pitching change here, Nick Nelson. Nobody needs that game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Josh Bell, the next to hit. And that one missing low. 1-0. Runner at second, two down. That Whoa. one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. Rips one to right. Castellanos makes the grab. And that is that. They get two runs on three hits. No errors at one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Marlins three and the Phillies nothing. Top of inning number seven. And now here is Brandon Marsh. The, center. the Phillies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Movement in the Marlins bullpen. Emilio Pagan up and throwing. Bender warming up as well. And a foul ball. 
Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Turner, the next to hit, takes ball one. One ball, no strike. So what we're seeing is a lineup that's just out of sync with the pitcher. They're guessing wrong, and their timing's off. And now the lefty Outside, just ball. missed. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Bases empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Right ah. through there for a strike. Two, two. And that one is inside. Hmm, that was pretty close on the inside. And obviously, he's not too happy with the call out there on the mound as he lets the umpire hear it a little bit. This is where you can't let that frustration compound itself, though. You got to let it out and move on. Rip to short. The throw to first. And two away to start the seven. Now back at the left field. Johan. Johan. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. One for two. Foul ball. Two down, nobody on. That one misses, and the one count one. is one and one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. One the guy's going this two good. Seven. He's retired seven in a row. You gotta step out of the box, fake butt, do something to break it up. Arise on to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. It's the Marlins three and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the inning, down the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Hits in the series for him so far. It's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. And it finds its way through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now, now, now. Christian Bethenport. Now the play. Foul ball there. one ripped on a line then there's one down and now the center fielder Jazz Chisholm Jr. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout First pitch doesn't find the zone. 1 0. No. Just missed. Two ball, no strike. And the right hander deals. Ball three. Rivera leads off first with one away. That yep. one finds the zone, and the count is three and one. And ball, ball four, four to a board. 
the bat. Not shortstop. First and second one out. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. The shortstop takes the ball. Pitch misses. Ball two. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Ball That's three. a little bit low. The fish trying to break this one open. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Yep. On the corner for a strike. for the Phillies Colby Allard and this could be a pretty critical point in this game they're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance tap to first Harper fires to second for one and that's quick work out of the pen one batter two outs inning over so a job well done from the Philly bullpen that time. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Marlins three and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Miami for the top of the eighth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. And the pitch. That's off the mark, and it's one and oh. Well, they kept it pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, yeah. but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They one had ball. a great plan one against strike. it. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes no. to get on base. Two Just ball. missed. One strike. There's a foul ball. And now it's filled up. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Right. Here's Harper now. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Ranging back. Grabs it right up against the wall. These plays are so risky because of the slide. The last thing you want is to be forced to pop up and go chase the ball down because you missed it. But it feels great when it works. No harm, no foul there. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. First pitch just misses. The Marlins leading by three. And we're in the top of the eighth. And delivers outside. The next oh. pitch misses. Ball three. And there's ball, ball four. four. Outside. Take your bait. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and 
The bad to play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer ready to come in. That clips the corner. Two outs. That's ball. off the ball. mark, Wait. and that's ball one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The one one is fouled off. Oh, he's looking to try to finish off eight solid innings out there on the mound. He's just getting to 100 pitches right now, man. It's been so impressive. He's been really good in this one. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Castellanos. The runner at first with two gone. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third yeah, now. He That's needed it. that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bomb. So many positives that led to that knock. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jesus Lazardo departs. It's a three-run game. And we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Emilio Pagan. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts Emilio. compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing the work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone. We are tied. He circles the bases, and they tie it up. It's 3-3. Three, three. These fans are dealing with some heartbreak right now. a cutter away kind of works like a slider you've got to stay on it let it travel a little bit and then get your arms extended really good piece of hitting right there and next is the designated hitter Whit Merrifield And that's in there at the knees. Pagan, 32 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2013. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Right handed reliever. Out to short. Rolls across the diamond, and that will end the inning. JT Real Muto delivers yet again on this one. We're tied now with three apiece. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Not measuring up how I want to be. Please with small things. Bottom of the eighth, we leading off, Luis Arias. The Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. The 1-0. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The 
the wind of the pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Leadoff man is Lead out, out here in the eighth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Jake Berger getting ready to hit. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. And that one almost hit him. One ball, no strike. All tied up near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Hard hit left side. Zips it across. And that quickly two away. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. Here's the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. First pitch misses. One Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. In the air, right field. Castellanos snags it on the run. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Here at Lone Depot Park, we go to the ninth. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Marsh. Pagan back to work. In the air, out towards left center. One away. The back of the Trey Turner at the plate. And this is very likely the last chance he gets to keep his hitting streak alive. And that one fouled off. Oh. Next offering upstairs. One one. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Popped up. Two away. Well, he gave the ball a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop up or it can be bunted right back at a position player. So, two down now. And here is Johan Rojas. And that one fouled off. Now, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul straight back. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Three up, three down for him there. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. All tied up at three apiece. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jose Alvarado. Now, number At the play, Jesus Sanchez. The right And a pitch. That's in there, and it's a one one. At the belt and fires. There's the strike at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. The 0-2. And one. ball one. That's a really one, good take.
Out to short. Tosses across out. the first. One out, bottom of the ninth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to Double deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many yeah. highlight real plays you make if you can't yeah. execute the small stuff, just like we saw. Josh Bell digs in now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Strike two. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So Ball hard two. to play catch up. And another ball. Two ball. Two strike. Next no. pitch is outside. Okay. Emmanuel Rivera next to hit for the Marlins. One out, base is empty. Line drive, that's a base hit. Everything came together for him. Good pitch, hard and inside, but he showed off some good hands, got the barrel to it, and was able to yank it into the outfield. the third baseman Emmanuel Rivera one for three no, and that misses off the outside edge one ball no strike down winning run at first we're in the last half of the ninth inning swing and a miss and that's strike two what good two. late sink on that fastball out of the hand looks so good and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone hard to get the barrel to it Line drive and it's just foul that was close well they say it's a game of inches and that's a perfect example right there could have been a big swing in this game if it stayed fair One, two now. Ball and two. another ball. Two, two. Two, two now. Line drive. Come on. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky oh, at a really unfortunate, hard unfortunate hard. time right there. Look at that. And now the catcher comes up to him, Christian Bethencourt. That clips the zone. It's 0 1. 0 1. That one down the line and foul ball. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Ball. All one there. it off still one and two no. and just misses with that one no. 
Lifted in the air right center field. Marsh on the move. He's got it. And that's the inning. So they can't come up with the winning run. And that means we'll have to go a little longer here tonight to find a winner. All tied up at three apiece. Innings. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. The right-hander back to work. That one drilled left field. Down the line, and it's foul. And it's foul. Right hander kicks deals. Ball. Just misses. And it's one and two. Good no. eye right no. there. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And a swing and a miss. And they get the leadoff man in the 10. Now here is Harper. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyer. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. That one's in there. That is strike two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Whoa. Inside almost got him. Base is empty one away. Here are the top half of the ten. Oh, and that God. one cutting but missing down low. Nick Castellanos on deck for the fills. That ball is foul and the pressure is building. Foul ball and it remains a full count. One down, base is empty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Got it. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropped, and he's got to find a way to make an adjustment, move, get back on track. His team needs him. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. First pitch just misses. One out. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Two down, nobody on. And here in extra innings. Off the plate inside. Two and two one. one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Still tied, three and three.
Back here at extras, and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Sir Anthony Dominguez. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And here it comes. And a foul ball left side. The 0-1. And that one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number, number one. one. Number one. Such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Gordon oh. at the plate and takes high there. Next offering is downstairs. Fall off foul. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike two. No. And that's downstairs and outside. Okay. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Luis arrives. Waits on deck. Ball four. four. He walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just oh, missed his great. spot. He'll get an offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Oh, yeah. And now it's going to be Luis Arias, known for his late inning heroics. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Turner for one. What a yeah. double play that was. Inning over. Offense held a check there. We push on to the 11th. All tied up at three apiece. A new arm on the mound here in the top half of the inning. JT Shagwalk. Oh. Bryson Stump stands in for the Phillies. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider One ball, down and away. No Next offering misses. Now 2-0. Oh. The pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count 2-1. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just catch. kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield, and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. on the runner stop back easily base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch one oh pitch out but no action this is a great dynamic right here speedy runner at first thinking about taking second catcher with the pop time that leaves jaws on the floor this might get interesting move
swings he misses gonna count one and two it might be time to choke up a little bit get that front foot down early maybe even just spread out he's really late right now and that's outside the count now two and two And the righty deals. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Oh. Struck him out looking. Oh, he was shopping at the bumper right there. The way that slider made it walk. That was just nasty. <laughs> Stepping in, Whit Merrifield. Pickoff move to first. He's dead. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Here comes a pitch. Runner on the oh, go. Wow. Ball misses. Throw hey. safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Man at second. Ground ball up the middle. Arise. In plenty of time to first, and that is out number two. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bad, especially when you're playing extra innings. in the box now take strike one looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing some good hitters will do that two outs pitch oh. misses and it's one and one right side hard hit tosses the first that's out number three Strand one. Score remains tied at three. All set for the bottom of the 11. Now here's the Marlins D8. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And that one fouled off. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Battling here as he fouls it away. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. In the air out to center. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now, guys, and at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. And fouled off. Next pitch downstairs, and it's a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And that one is in for a strike.
Oh, and another ball. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Little Tony on that fastball is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. One down, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Okay. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Grinding A-B right here, about to see pitch number 10. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone, really making him work out there. Payoff pitch. Ball four. four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Next to hit, Jesus Sanchez. And the first offering is not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Marsh sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. The first pitch, number nine. And now for the Marlins, Josh Bell. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the grab, and the inning is over. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. 11 innings in the books now. All tied up at three apiece. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Trey Turner. And with the game going to extras, he's still got a chance to keep his hitting streak going. Shagwa back to work. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Shortstop takes the ball. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Ball. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. That one misses, and that's ball three. Johan Rojas next to bat for Philadelphia. So now three and two. In the air, right field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. The bat. And his hitting streak continues. There have been almost no bad days for him in the past month. This guy's running hot, Boog, and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now, especially pitchers that are trying to slow him down. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Johan Rojas. 1-0. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. 
Yeah, the right-hander deals. Bounce to the left side. Off-balance feed. There's one. Relay to first. Double play. As a former player, watching five, four, three double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that'll do it. Back here at Extras, and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Gregory Soto. Here's the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. The third baseman. And a pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And there's one down. Now got it. Catcher. Christian. And here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. In for a strike. One one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Matt Strong up and loosening in the pen. Here comes the 0-1. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Base is empty, one away, and we're deep into extras. He needs to throw that breaking ball with just a little more conviction to get the swing and miss. Got him looking. Throws it with the heater at the knees. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. 0 for 4. Three flyouts and a strikeout. And that's outside. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Two down, nobody on. You're in extra innings. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Two down, nobody on. Nick Gordon waits on deck for Miami. Three and two. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Castellanos makes the catch, and that is the third out of the inning. And the Marlins down quietly. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Three, three. And there's a new arm on the mound, Matt Andrees. And he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one an inning, so he'll be tough to get to. Here's Bryce Harper. Goal for four with three strikeouts and a flyout. And a pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. 
0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Pitch One misses off. there. 1 and 0. San Diego's will chase that time. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Ryan Stanek, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Nardi, a left hander, also throwing. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Oh. And he takes one right on the black. And it's two and one now. and second now with nobody out just a clutch at bat right, right there man. big time swing when this team really needed it I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it that pitch was inside and he let it get really deep so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it and a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game and now puts a bunt down picks it up with a bare hand and he beats it he's safe Well, he's just giving himself up to move two runners into scoring position right there, but somehow the defense can't get an out anywhere, and this is quickly turning into a golden opportunity for this offense. So up next, JT Real Muto. Golden opportunity right here. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. A strikeout. You need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something, but you've got ah. it. Jackson misses. It's a strikeout. So he needed a strikeout there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, then look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in the spot where they really needed one. And here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Whit Merrifield. Bases loaded, one away. Here deep into extra innings. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One, two. Skips in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. A one two swing and a ball popped up diving and he can't make the play one runs in another comes in to score three runs are in in there he's safe and they lead by four wow that's just not something you see very often in inside the park grand slam oh my goodness that happens maybe once every few years of that. And this guy was looking to come up with a big hit with the bases loaded, and clearly that one qualifies. New pitcher for the Marlins, Ryan Stanning. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. down. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Swing and a grounder foul for a space side. And that one pulled foul. 
Four runs already in the frame here in the third and final game of the series. A little bit high. Yeah, the count one and two. Running that good fastball up on the hitter's inside. If nothing else, it keeps him from diving out over the plate to get those arms extended on the pitch away. Swings and misses, struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable out right there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Turner no, in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next no. pitch is downstairs. That clips the corner. There's a splitter in the dirt, swing and a miss. Up with it, fires the first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. So it's four runs for him, four hits, no errors, no one left. And now this crowd, after grinding it out this long, finds their club down to their final three outs. It's the Phillies seven and the Marlins three. Last half of the 13th set to go. And at the plate for Miami, Nick Gordon. As the lefty gets to work, that one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Soto, multi-time all-star, he features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. And he deals. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Lower away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. The rise. Batted with one down. Takes the strike. The fish down by four. And here in extra innings. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. Well, we talk about throwing the hands, but not to bat, man. You want to hold on to that thing, and you can see his teammates over there. If he doesn't come through with the knock, he's going to get some business when he goes back to the dugout. Bounced out to short. Turner throws the first. And a couple of quick outs. Now that the designated hitter. Hit the gate. Burger. So it's their last chance in this one. And now here's the Marlins DH, Jake Berger. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. No. Got a good eye there. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Here, the bottom of the third tee, two outs. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw to first. Got it. Ball game. And the Phillies claim victory in 13 innings. Well, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. 7 3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by the game of the week. I'm John Chump. We'll talk to you soon. Lesson two, dip diver, 
Civilizer 85 -er. I make the devil hit his knees and say to our father, Abracadabra, you rockin' with the true and living. Shout out the lights out, Joseph I, Chewy Bivens. Shout out the Baltimore, Baton Rouge, my crew in Richmond. Why y'all debating who the true